Well, it's a nice, cool, late September day here in Missouri. And we are headed out on an eight and a half hour drive to Boone, North Carolina to pick up an enormous Maranaka Super Surfacer. made it to high country timber frame to pick up the super servicer so let's go check it out right. Tom I have no idea where the guy that we're getting this from is Hey Tom, we're we're here. I think we might not leave. <laughs> it's a pretty nice shop you got here. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Oh boy, this is it right here. Oh. Oh, it's good. It's not as nearly as big as I thought. Yeah. Holy moly! The foot pedals are what raises and lowers the top does it have with any, a belt the one the little one i had had a little like limit switch that so you could lower it right under the wood or do you lower it to a little mark well it's it reveals uh -huh. right there but it's hypersensitive i tend not uh to final the final touch with my fingertip okay so let's throw some power to this thing Yeah. That's what the website was saying. That's it, man. I love these big induction motor machines. No earplugs required. Oh, yeah, you really can do a whole house frame with this. So, like I said, you have to be real sensitive on these guys. And maybe it's just a setting or the switch or something here, but I just have to sneak up on it and then fine-tune it with a fingertip. So this timer, as I recall, is the time between the forward and the reverse feed. So it so kind of depends. Yeah, it pauses. <clears throat> and it depends on the length of the material where you set this timer. If, if you, uh, but it, I'm just still not really sure exactly what how how that applies because we never use this thing to be so honest the belt's on the top huh yeah and it, the knife switches back and forth yes the knife oh, shifts okay. in this carriage and this is how you access the knives So it'll, it'll cut both, both directions. Both directions, yes. So both you like run a board it. through and see kind of which way looks better and then run it once like in the one direction of tear out or whatever? <sighs> I've yet to see it tear out. Oh, jeez, <laughs> that's amazing. So, but um, I haven't run, you know, curly maple or anything through yeah. it. So oh, I forgot to show you. Here it 
Here's how you get in and act and release the cutter heads mm -hmm. through this and tune them and whatnot through this assembly. So you can cut just forward, mm -hmm. auto return, or backward. Mm -hmm. And so over here is this wheel. Oh. Yeah, but I've I've had it be too tight. Okay. So you just have to be so sensitive and, and it's had we used the machine more, I'm sure we would have dialed it all in and gotten it all figured out. So it's just a bit of a something to be aware of. Well, it, it even knows that it... It reads the end of the board. So it, like, it, it kind of like did it, corrected itself there. Uh, it, it went twice. That's, wow. Well, obviously, it's a... It puts a, where it's cutting, it puts a nice, clean surface. That's, That's awesome. So the, the back and forth is really just to save time on the larger pieces, right? Like if you're running through a hole, you know, like 50 styles or something, you can just set it on forward and just send boom, 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 boom. boom. Yeah, if you're not worried, of, and, and it helps with tear up. Yeah. You know, so um, if, if, if you're running stuff like Western red cedar through there, probably just one one pass. You know. It's so calm. Why conversation? Well, that's one of the reasons of the first machine like this I saw was at Len Brackett's shop. Nice. And uh, he just he was one of my mentors. He's the one who got me that's on this path. Well, like with this machine, I I literally sought out maybe five yeah. people like yourself around the country who might, A, know what this is, and B, have a use for it. And, and these two machines go together. You know, this, yeah. this without that, that without this. Well, you could use this to sharpen pretty much anything. That was the issue I was having with the little ones, is I got the tiniest little one, I brought it back from Japan. And the blade was just small enough that if I was very careful, I could keep honing the edge. Yeah, but I never had this. Contact. Well, that was super fun hanging out with Tom and seeing his amazing shop and picking up the incredible Maranaka Super Servicer. We are all loaded up and headed on our way back to Missouri. We'll be checking the condition of our, uh, 
our load often. And, uh, and hopefully tomorrow morning or evening we'll get this thing off the trailer and uh, start figuring out how to hook it up. Oh boy, we made it. We got the super surfacer back here and now let's get it off the trailer. So what I'm thinking is, there's this big steel beam here. And if we can rig up something of this beam, we can use our chain hoist to lift these tools off and set them down on pallets. The hook is, hooked around the other side of the I-beam and that should be plenty strong enough to hoist the tools off. Well, that was quite an adventure, taking these big things off the trailer and from Boone, North Carolina. And it's like 90 million degrees here. But we did it. Super Surfacer is in Missouri. And in the next part of this series, I will probably be setting it up and going through all the cool stuff that came with it and hopefully we'll get a shaving in the new location. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.